Hello everyone, Manny Kiso here and welcome back to another Blockfish tutorial. In today's Blockfish tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can make your own custom armor models. Now, you might be wondering, custom armor models? But I've said that this is impossible as of right now in the base game. Well, it sort of is still impossible in the base game. But if you have mods such as Entity Model Features, Entity Texture Features, and CIT Resone, you are more than welcome to do this. I actually found this out by the help of a user named Ray Can't Trace. He made a texture pack called Animal Accessories where he made it so that you can rename leggings and you can get the, you know, the style of a different mob. Maybe you want a cattail. I don't know why would you want that, but hey, I don't, I'm not gonna judge. But anyways, so thanks to him, I'll be leaving a link to his Planet Minecraft page so you can test his wonderful works. So. Please give him some love and tell them that I sent you because he doesn't know who I am. But I fully credit him for giving me the idea and just, uh, you know, taking a little sneak peek in his texture packs. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial by going to my desktop. Okay, so like every Blockbuster tutorial, we do have a custom template folder. This one is going to be called Custom Armor Model Templates. So you can feel free to download this or follow along with me however you like. So of course the download page is going to be in the description below along with all the mods, texture packs and everything else is going to be in the description that you're going to need. And you can see that my desktop looks a lot different from than it was last time. That is because I have upgraded systems and I'm no longer a Windows user. I am now using Mac OS but that is besides the point because I wanted to show you that anyone can do this no matter if you have Mac, Linux and Windows. Yes. Even Linux users can do this. So without further ado, let's open up to the custom armor models texture pack template. And you can see I already started you off with a pack.mc meta. This file helps Minecraft read the resource pack. So it tells it what version it runs on and the description, which you can see in the Java options resource packs, which you can see here. You can see how it has a custom description right there. And you can see that some of them are still red. Now, if it's red, that means that the pack format is not correct for that version. So 34 is for version 1.21.1. Now, before we go on with this tutorial, I must give a disclaimer. As of right now, this is only possible in 1.21.1 due to CIT Resone not being updated to the newest and latest version of Minecraft. But that should be shortly fixed after the creator gets it done. So let's just give him some time and let's see what we can do. But for now, I'll be showing you on 1.21.1. Back to the template folder if we have our things. So first things first, we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call this the assets folder. Assets, like that. We're going to go into the assets folder, make another new folder called Minecraft. Go into the Minecraft folder. Now we're going to make two folders here. We're going to make one called EMF for entity model features mod and another one called Optifine. Now, you don't need Optifine. All you need is Optifine CIT Resown. You can either use Optifine CIT Resown, Entity Model Features, and Entity Model Textures. Right now, I'm using Fabric, so I have to use CIT Resown, Entity Model Features, and Entity Texture Features. That is what I highly recommend using instead of Optifine. Let's go into the EMF folder. We're gonna create a new folder, CEM. Go into the CEM folder, and you can see this is gonna be left blank. We will, of course, add the model that we're going to be working on in here in just a bit. But let's go back to the Minecraft folder, go into the Optifine folder, create another new folder called CIT, go into the CIT folder, and we're going to create this the general accessory pack. So let's say you're making a theme of something. You can name this whatever you like. You don't even have to put a folder here, but it is strongly recommended you do a folder to make it nice and organized because if you have multiple different armor types or different models, it can be a, a little bit unorganized. So we're gonna call this overall pack a just, I'm gonna call it for now additions. And I'm gonna go into the additions folder and my first armor type is going to be a chest plate. So the chest plate is going to have, let's see, let's just say it's gonna have a, a couple of, uh, of gems. On the chest plate so we're gonna call this gem i'll just say that for now 
and if you go into this folder of course there's going to be nothing here so we're going to go back all the way to the minecraft folder and now we can actually start modeling so we're going to open up block bench okay now that we're in block bench i highly recommend downloading this plugin this is going to make it so much easier and very simple so we're going to go to file plugins and we're going to go to the available tab right here and look up cm template cem template and we're just going to click here and click install once that's installed we now have a new loaders tab right here called cm template loader we're going to click that open click load cm template and usually i say stay away from the unsupported tab but this is actually how we're going to do the tutorial depending on your armor type that you are doing it varies on which one you choose so if you are doing helmet chest plate and boots you are going to go with the normal armor but if you're doing leggings you are going to go with armor layer 2. so for now i'll be showing you how to do the chest plate which will be falling under the same category as you know helmets and boots so we're going to go into here the chest plate first you know load and boom now we have the chest plate loaded first things first all we need is to remove is the head and the left shoe and the right shoe we can now just have the chest plate this will now just leave us with the chest plate and you can see that the helmet and the boots are still on the texture file let's quickly leave that just there we're going to turn on uv overlay and you're, you, uh, let's add some gemstones for now so we're going to go to click the body folder. We're going to make a new folder called this gemstones or whatever you like. Um, let's say, you know, let's do one big gemstone right here. You know, let's hold alt and just make that big. There you go. One in the dead center. I'll make it even a little bit shorter just to make it look a little bit better. Let's also add a couple gemstones, maybe on the left arm. So let's make another folder called this gemstone new cube uh -huh. there we go and let's do the same thing with the right arm now you see that we have our cubes or our gemstones but they have no texture and you can see that it's actually kind of overlaying the helmet texture we don't want that so what i'm going to do i'm going to evenly distribute them so i'm going to click the middle gemstone first and i'm going to give that its own space in this texture file go to the other gemstone and make this over here and since we have another gemstone right here i'm gonna actually just match it up right here so it has the same texture and there we go that might not seem like we are done but i promise you we kind of are but here's the thing let's first do this let's go right click here we're gonna click convert project and format it to a java block item and we're gonna click the create copy so it is a solid and you know it will create a copy so i'm going to create a copy there we go so i have an exact replica right here on my other block bench tab so now what we're going to do now that we have the gem the you know the optify file we're going to actually remove this texture we're going to just delete it boom it's gone not our problem anymore we're going to double click the file right here just double click this and we're going to make the file name player underscore outer underscore armor now depending on your player model it could vary if you are using the three wide pixels that alex uses you're gonna add the word slim like this if you are using steve's you know four wide uh arms you're just gonna make this player but for now i'm gonna use slim since that is my player model now we're gonna click confirm and we're gonna click file export export optifine dem click that and that will take us to a whole pop-up. This I don't want to be in, so we're going to go to my desktop. So we're going to go into the template folder, custom armor model template, assets, Minecraft, EMF, CEM, and click save. Now that we have that saved, we can actually start working on the texture and model of the, you know, this thing. We have this here. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to delete the helmet. So let's click the UV overlay. We're gonna click the eraser tool and whatever's outlined, your color might be different. Mine is set to orange, but my, I set that myself, but yours could be different. So I'm gonna delete this right here, delete the boots and delete the helmet because that's just taking up space, but do not move these around or move this around. This will break if you do move them. 
So let's make these gemstones. Let's make them nice. Maybe like emeralds. So I'm just going to paint them nicely, sort of. Oh, and I forgot to say, let's get into a texturing montage. There we go. Now we have our gemstones. So like every other tutorial that I've shown, we actually mess around with the display item. So we're going to make a preset since I want to make y'all... You know, you can do whatever you want. You can make it hold it a little bit better. I'm just going to make it hold it basically the same way it will hold any other item. Just the basic way. Uh, so we can get you on the road. And I'm just going to copy this. Paste this here. And I'll do the same preset block. But I'll make it rotate to facing you. Resize it. So to resize it the same way. Because if you don't do any right, you can just stretch it. So you're going to hold shift and it will resize it all dimensions on the ground. I'll make it the item preset, the frame. You can do whatever you want. I recommend that you go your way because I want you to express your freedom and your creative freedom. So I'm going to make this look a little bit new, unique. So let's change that a little bit. Hold shift, make it a little bit bigger and move it into the center there we go now that we have that done we can actually start putting this in the game so before we do anything else let us do this so go to your texture first double click it and name it whatever you want to name it so i'm going to make this gem plates give it a basic name whatever you like and i'm going to click confirm i'm going to save the texture but we're going to save it into the optify folder cit additions or whatever and gems boom save now that we have that saved, we're going to double click the armor layer underscore one converted or whatever you're working on right now. Click that and we're going to name this the same way. Gem plate, but do underscore item. Enter. Now file, export, export block item model. Go to the Optifine folder, CIT, additions, gems, and wherever you save that texture, save it there as well. And there we go. Now that we have that saved, what I like to do is I like to save my block bench um, work area just in case something does corrupt so i like to save it at the you know the very beginning so we're going to save it right here in where the assets folder is and we can close out a block bench so let's go back into the template folder go to assets minecraft optify cit additions gems gems and now you see that we have you know the gem plate item you can see that the the texture path is dot slash gem plate that's because when it's a dot slash that means it's looking at that exact location where the model is saved so this model is looking around in this work area for this texture and since it's already there it already found it so we don't need to do anything with that we can just exit out and if we open the png that's of course our texture so now we're going to create two new file types we're going to right click new file, new blank document or new text file, whatever you're doing. Let's do text file. So uh, my Windows users can do this way, the same way. And most of the time it will just create a new file like that. What I what you can do, you can rename it. We're going to rename this one gem plate underscore item. So it matches the same name as the model. Make the dot txt a properties file. And if it asks you, are you sure you want to change the extension to this to this? Yes. Use the properties file. Now we're going to duplicate this. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to rename it so that it is gem plate dot properties. So it has basically the, the texture has its own properties file and that the model has its own property files. First, let's go to, to the models property file. So gem plate underscore item properties. So let's go into there. Now that we're in this file, yours may look different. You may using uh, some different notepad user. I'm using, you know, a uh, cot editor. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. And since this is the item, we're going to do type equals item. Enter to the second row items. This is going to be the items that we're going to overwrite. And since my texture has the same texture as the chest plate, we're going to make this the diamond chest plate underscore chest plate. If you are using a another kind of armor or you want to use different kinds of chest plates maybe you want to use another right chest plate another right underscore chest plate this will also use the netherite chest plate as well but since i'm just going to use the diamond chest plate we're going to make the we're going to go to the third row the throw the third line make this model equal dot slash gem plate underscore item now go to the fourth line 
we're gonna do this nbt dot display if i can type dot display dot capital n name now we're gonna equal i pattern colon and then the name that you're gonna put when you put the item in the anvil so when i rename the diamond chest plate into a gem plate it will show this model save it and close it out of it now let's test to see if this works so i'm going to exit out of this and i'm going to go into my minecraft resource pack folder open pack folder they opened it on my second monitor and we're going to get the template and we're just going to put it in here go back into minecraft and right here custom armor models right here click it done so i made it remember i made it that if you rename a diamond chest plate gem plate it will give you the model of you know the model that we just made so we're gonna get a diamond chest plate right here and i'll do this netherite chest plate just to show an example so what you do here put that in the anvil and we're gonna call this gem plate and boom you can see that we have you know our, our custom model that we just made but if i do netherite you know gem plate it does not work so are we done not yet so if we put it on you can see that we still get the normal diamond chest plate and we don't want that we want this to be the gem plate so we're going to go back into the template folder while we're still running minecraft it can be on running minecraft if you like go back to optifine cit additions gems now the gem plate dot properties file this is where the textures come to play so we're going to open that we're going to do type equals armor items equal minecraft colon diamond underscore chest plate enter to the third line texture dot diamond underscore layer underscore one equals gem plate this is your texture name and nbt dot display dot name equals yeah equals item i pattern colon gem plate this has to be exactly the same how you did this one you see how this one's exactly gem plate this one has to be the same thing so let's save that let's go into minecraft and you can do this quick button where you can do f3 and that will reload your texture so i'm just going to do that f3 and there you have it custom modeled armor you can see that the gems are still a part of the arms and that the chest plate has a big old gem on it so this works with boots and helmets so i'm not going to give a quick tutorial on that but leggings is a little bit of a different story that i will have to discuss in another video Yes, I had to cut it off and go into a different world, but yes, leggings are a completely different story and that I will have to discuss in another video. Reason why is because I had a lot of troubleshooting issues and stuff like that. So, of course, I'll be making another blockbuster tutorial shortly after this one. So, y'all don't have to wait as long as y'all need to. So, thank you for watching and I'm glad that you are now able to make custom armor models in Minecraft. So, take that ability to the best of your ability and, you know, make something cool with it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And yes, all the reason I said subscribe in this video was because I wanted to make the button turn rainbow. So, but please do subscribe. It does show some support. If you need any help, please leave a comment in this video or you can join my Discord. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.